Donald Trump is back at the rally again, this time in Phoenix at a mega church. We talked about this yesterday, and we'll be we'll be giving an update from that. But um, he was talking about uh, coronavirus, and I want to show you this video where he will once again just make an explicitly racist joke. Uh, and that's really the, the heart of this video, but I want you to just pay attention to the entirety of what we're about to show you. And I want you to understand that this is the President of the United States who is barely coherent mumbling through a racist screed. Her name's Wuhan. Now Wuhan was catching on. Coronavirus, right? Kung flu, yeah. Kung flu. COVID, COVID-19, COVID. I say, what's the 19? COVID-19, some people can't explain what the 19. Give me the COVID-19. I said, that's an odd name. I could give you many, many names. If you watch the context of it, it's even worse with him talking about the wall. It's his, I tweeted, his brain is moldy tapioca pudding. It's just flailing around. He is the avatar of the right. He is their, their God. And he can't talk. All he's there to do is to say racist things. That's the only expectation that they had, JR, for him right there. So you have a list of things you're just going to say, which I assume wasn't prepared because he says them regularly enough. He doesn't have to write them on his hand like Sarah Palin. So uh, it just, and then floats it and see what sticks. He got to Kung Flu and then suddenly everyone went crazy. Then he got to COVID-19 and it wasn't as much. So then he has to riff further on 19. What is the 19? He thinks once he starts doing this, yee, yee, hee, 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 that suddenly everyone's going <laughs> to not push. I guess it worked. I mean, if, if you keep pushing on a stupid point that everyone else was like, eh, COVID-19, not as funny. Or should we cheer or boo COVID-19? Wait, wait, it's killing people. But then again, you said it's fake. Should we boo? Like, they don't know what to do. They didn't, the, the thing is, he didn't realize they didn't know what to do with COVID-19 when mm -hmm. he threw out that that piece of meat. It's like, do we like or do we hate? Wait, uh, and then he had to push the 19 part. So they go, oh yeah, that's right. We gotta be dumb. That's right. Let's cheer, let's cheer stupidity now. Yep. Yep. And um, I know uh, with the latter part where he's like, the 19, what's the 19? I don't know. Nobody knows. Um, Okay, so let's let's engage with this. Uh, does he know that it stands for Coronavirus Disease 2019, or does he not? If he doesn't, obviously he's a moron. I would argue he probably does, but the president of the United States is pretending that he doesn't understand that, and he that's doesn't. dumber. Either no. way, it doesn't matter. It's it, it all roll the dice comes up dumb. Every side says dumb. <laughs> um, it's the president of the United States talking to his supporters about a virus that has killed 120,000 plus people, and he's joking about how he doesn't understand how it's named. And restart America. Hit the reset button. This thing <laughs> is done. Um, but I do want to talk a little bit more about uh, the racist comment. Not because of Trump. Trump is a racist. I'm not having any conversation about whether he's not. I am more interested in the screaming, laughing fans. I want to play you uh, a portion of that video again, but this time from an alternate angle that I think will sell what I'm talking about here. Okay, so uh, the reason we played that and the reaction is uh, th those are all young, like, talking points, college Republicans mm -hmm. that went there to goad an old racist into telling racist jokes. And that's what they went there for. And when he was doing his Wuhan thing, the f that wasn't racist enough. So they started shouting, no, 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 say the racist, say the racist thing. I want to hear you. Yeah, the old racist said the racist thing I want. They didn't go there to find out how he's going to make college more affordable. Oh my God. Or free them from student debt. Or I'm a little bit worried about the economy. Or, ah, health insurance. Tell us what your plans are. Give me your proposals. It was, old racist man, say the racist thing I want. That's all that, it is. That's their movement. And now the part of it, the campaigning, the agenda, and the, the um, what's their, their campaign, um, their platform. This platform is division and hate. 
he went on long riffs about uh, the leftists in this country. The Democrats want to destroy you. They want to take down this country. All they do is hate you. Like he's pushed all these divisive things. That's the platform. Like if for anyone to deny that we said back in 2015 when he started running, that his entire platform is hate, division, and racism. I'm not sure how else you can you can watch something like that and not see the hate, division, and racism. It's exactly what he's pushing. It's like he's he's testing the waters again. He's like, I think this is all I've got, and it mm-hmm. worked the first time. I definitely can't go with policy because anytime I have mentioned policy, it's still based in hate, division, and racism. So let me just go past that boring policy that insinuates the hate. Let me just give yeah. them the hate. Yeah, I mean, like, like playing devil's advocate, the xenophobia and the Im- the demonization of Mexican immigrants, talking about a wall, that at least is sort of related to policy. It's horrendous, monstrous, mm-hmm. but it's sort of related to policy. Now it's just racist jokes. And they don't care that the racist jokes are about the most epic failure of our government in our lifetime to protect our lives during this pandemic. Yep. He failed it worse than any government has ever failed anything, and they don't care. That's what we're up against. The, the, the next generation of conservatives has no expectations for government. They don't want anything from it. When it fails, they don't care, so long as racist yell racist things. That's their only expectation for government going forward. That is true. That's depressing. all that's left. It's <laughs> it's all that's left. And, and and as you said, they're they're looking to to get fed. And that's all he needs anymore. And honestly, the the quarantine and the stresses he's been getting over COVID and everything that's been going down, how he's itching to get back on the campaign trail, mm-hmm. it actually exacerbates the way he's going to do this now. He's like, I can't wait. It's like he's had racist jokes piling up in his head for months. And he's like, I got to tell this yeah. racist joke. I got to go tell this racist joke to the point now all he does is get out there and tell those racist jokes. And that's all he's got because yeah. it makes him feel better. It fulfills him. It's the last thing. There was staffers that said, even after Tulsa, the debacle of Tulsa, um, they said, well, maybe this will at least get his juices going again and he'll be in a better mood. The reason we did this is because he's been in such a bad mood, he hasn't been able to tell people his racist jokes. And he got a chance to go and do it. And now he feels better. It's like he got that out of his system and he got reception of it. Well, there we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. He had the press conferences for coronavirus where he'd said crazy things. But it wasn't his fans in the room. So it wasn't quite enough. Um, And now he's got that back. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.